We need to discuss the difference between sensitivity and specificity and positive and negative predictive values. Both have their roles, or both sets, sensitivity and specificity, and the predictive values have their role, but the roles are completely different depending on the situation we're talking about. Sensitivity and specificity can be thought of as the uh, technical precision of a test. It tells us how well the test works in laboratory conditions. So let's imagine we're um, working in a laboratory and we know out in the uh, environment around us, people who are going to be sending lab tests to our, uh, to our lab, that there are some people out there with the disease and some people without the disease. The sensitivity tells us the percentage of patients with the disease who are going to have a positive test. That's sensitivity. Specificity tells us the number of patients without a disease uh, for whom the test is going to be negative. So it's going to tell us how well our tests work in laboratory conditions, which is great. Now, positive and negative predictive values uh, look at things the other way. They look at it now we're not in a laboratory, but we're actually in a practice, and we have sent a laboratory, um, uh, we've sent to the laboratory a test, and they have sent the results back. And we want to know uh, how many of the tests that are come back as positive are truly positive, and that would be called the positive predictive value. And the negative predictive value is the number of tests that turn out to be negative that in which patients truly don't have the disease. That's the negative predictive value. The difference between sensitivity and specificity and positive and negative predictive values is that the latter, the positive and negative predictive values, are affected by prevalence of disease or pretest likelihood, whereas sensitivity and specificity are not. This is a crucial difference because in the world of clinical medicine, uh, the test results are the, the, the abil our ability to believe them is going to vary based on uh, the prevalence of disease. As prevalence goes up, positive tests are more likely to be positive, and negative tests are more likely to be falsely negative. And as disease prevalence goes down, positive tests are more likely to be falsely positive, and negative tests are more likely to be uh, truly negative.